hello welcome back to my youtube channel um, in this video i will be uh, discussing resource comparison so let's say you've um, designed a circuit in uh, ads it could be any other software and you simulated your results you have result for the circuit design and you have result for the micro strip design so the, the aim of, uh, of this video is to show you how to um, match both results and compare. As you can see here, I've done this comparison on the one on the left hand side, your screen using uh, ADS and the one on the right hand side, this the same result compared, um, compared using uh, MATLAB. You can see that the MATLAB comparison is more professional. You, could, you can see the, the legend and their, their, their arrangement compared to that of their default ADS display window. So let's get started. Let's start with the comparison. We'll compare results on ADS. We now write a MATLAB code that will enable us to compare similar results in, um, in MATLAB. Then we use MATLAB property editor to ensure that the result look exactly as what I have here. So I'm going to, uh, let's get started with the first step. All I need to do is uh, open my ADS. So here you can see an ADS workspace. So there's a, a few designs in this workspace. Now, just to make these points, before you compare results in ADS, ensure that both files are contained in the same workspace. So you cannot compare results that are in different workspaces. For example, this is a workspace, where, which is normally a folder. In this folder, which we call workspace in ADS, I have different designs so you can compare any of these designs two or more of the designs so long as they exist in the same workspace so let's get started so if i let's say i've designed i want to compare the first two i have bump pass filter circuit and bump pass filter micro strip so let me open the bump pass filter circuit so this is the results i got simulating a bump pass filter circuit i'm going to close this and this is similar results I got simulating the same bumper filter, but this time around a micro strip layout. So I'm going to compare the two results on the same graph. So to compare the results, first of all, open any of the results. So I'm going to start with the circuit. So once you have this result opened, double click within the, uh, within the graph, any free space within the graph. If I double click, now, um, on the uh, data sets and equations, select uh, the graph you want to compare with the bumper filter circuit. So I want to compare the bumper filter microstrip, BPF MS. That's what I want to compare. So when I select that, uh, we need to um, plot S11 and S21 so we can have a match with um, what we are trying to compare it with. So I'm going to plot my S11. Say OK and plot my S21. Say OK. Now, when I click on OK, you can see now that I have good results for the uh, micro strip for the circuit um, being superimposed on the same graph for easy comparison. So you can you can easily make a comparison when you have both graphs uh, on the same paper or the same plots. Okay, so this is how to do it. ADS so easy. Open one graph, superimpose the other graph on it, and make a comparison. All right, so I'm going to cancel this now. So now we want to achieve the same fit using um, using MATLAB to get a professional looking graph that you can use on your projects, on your research paper, be it journal paper or conference paper. So we need to make sure we have a clean graph rather than having the graph that comes directly from ADS. So how do I do this? The first thing I need to do is to write a code. So uh, I've written this code, but um, I'm just going to explain it. So if, if you've uh, looked at my previous video where I did um, how to use data file tool in ADS, you would have seen me, uh, I wrote a code in that same video. Okay. Now, what I've done here is to alter the code to be able to plot um, uh, two graphs, one graph for the circuit one graph for the microstrip layout. 
So uh, you see here, I've generated um, the data file, the data file for for the microstrip. You can see MS here means microstrip. This is a data file for for the circuit layout. Now, if you are not sure how to um, generate the data file, please check out my YouTube channel. There's a video I made on how to use data file tool in ADS. How to use data file tool in ADS. So check out that video. You will get to know how I generated uh, these two data files, one and two. Now, what I've done is to write a program that can plot this uh, uh, two data files on the same graph. So I call the first one file, and I put in one of the files, uh, one of the uh, the generated data file, and I call this one file two. So this is file one. This is file two. Now, so this G command here reads the data in file one. By the H command reads data in uh, file two, and I need to plot the figure. This plot G. The, so plot G means I'm going to plot the file being read here. G the file read here will be plot using this uh, plot command and then hold all means after plotting this I hold all settings and then plot H which is which will plot uh, the file being read here in H so that is just a simple program which you can write and uh, use it to plot the graph so let's just go ahead and plot this graph the first line is the comment line which tells you what is happening in this code I'm just going to copy all of this. Okay. And I'll go to my uh, MATLAB. I'll open MATLAB. That's my, uh, this is my MATLAB. Okay. So um, while we wait for that, as soon as you open your MATLAB, you can easily paste uh, or run your code to see how um how it's going to work so i think i open two instances i'm going to close one now to make sure you you have those two files in the program you must make sure you have those two files here so you can see here that i have 2p bpf circuits and i have 2p bpf i have the two um data files in my ads for uh, i'm sorry my um, MATLAB folder. So I'm going to run the program now. So this should also do the same thing we did in ADS. So if I run this program, you can see here that I have I, I have the same plots. Now I have um, uh, my plot for the circuit and my plot for the micro strip layouts on the same graph. Now to edit again, I did it before in a previous video. But I'm going to do it one more time. So if you go to view, you can see the property editor. Now with the property editor, you can edit this graph the way you want it. So let's say I want this to be um, dashed lines. So I'm going to change it here. So let's just make it thickness of one and make the line type uh, dashed lines. And then I want the, the, the other one, um, the return loss part to be I make it one as well and then I make it dotted lines okay so you can see it's dotted lines so it's too tiny I can make it two just to be able to see it properly right so now and for this ones I'm going to leave it as as a, as a straight line but I just need to make this one just to make it thicker and um, just do the same thing for the return loss Now, again, as I said before, you can edit anything. So let's look at the legend. Let's make the legends um, make because now it's confusing. If you look at the two legends, you can see which one is the um, micro strip or the theoretical, which one is the practical. So, all you need to do is double click on the S11. The dotted line, as I've said, is the um, a practical um, plot. So, I'm going to say Particle, particle S11, and then the uh, dotted line. This one is also practical. So, practical S21, and the, this is theoretical S11. Theoretical 
S11. This is theoretical S21. Theoretical S21. So you see now I have the legend which is in professional. And I can also um can also change the font side as I showed you before to the font side I can change it to 14 okay just to make it bigger and I can also make it bold from normal to bold bold right I can also change on the x-axis I can change this I can write frequency in full you can edit it to whatever you want it to be frequency and on the on, on the y-axis I can change that to S parameters in deep in decibels. So we'll say S, uh, S parameters and the unit is dB. Right? Alright. So I mean you can make as many changes as you wish. This is what we do with the property editor. So you can you can move this legend to any location of your choice. I'm gonna leave it at the bottom left, anywhere you have space. It, because it, it can't fit here because it's too large, so I'm going to leave it at the bottom. Now, once you've done this, you can now uh, copy or uh, you can now save or copy as I did before and compare results. Now, so if I copy this result, I can put it, paste it in any document I want. To copy it is, is easy. Just do a screenshot if you like. So I can just do a screenshot, snip. I can, I can snip. This graph and snip this graph from here and put it in a word document so let's say you're writing a, 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 a thesis or, or dissertation or writing a journal paper a conference paper just paste it here you can see that it looks much more professional than the one we did using using um, um, ADS so this is basically what I thought I should show you today um, I'm going to uh, just go back to my ADS, uh, sorry, to my uh, PowerPoint. So now you can see here that uh, this is the result generated from ADS uh, result comparison. And this is the one from uh, my, uh, from MATLAB. You can see that you will prefer to have this one uh, on your written document for, because it's professionally, uh, uh, it's a professional standard. Unlike uh, this, you can see that the legend is not something that you want to have a published work so thank you for uh, taking your time to listen to this video and i hope you've learned something new please can i also ask you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already i'll keep bringing you videos that will help you as you continue to grow in your uh, quest for knowledge in this area of study which is the microwave engineering thank you for listening and i hope to um, send you more work in the near future. Bye.